lesson six, your first 10 customers part two, let's get into it. So before we do start, uh, I want you to really uh, fit this lesson into your specific scenario or situation that you have going on. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to make a scenario and example for every single person that's, that's watching these lessons. So just trying to take you know your current situation and make it fit towards your needs and what you have going on. Now, with that said, this lesson is for you if you're brand new to detailing. And that means like detailing, the essence of just detailing. You haven't detailed many cars. You just, you know, you've, you've kind of played around the forums, but you haven't really got into it. This is great for you. If you just started a business and you're trying to figure out how to really, you know, get the initial traction going, how to really get a few customers trickling in or trying to figure out a few of your pricing strategy, this is great for you. And if you're figuring out if this t type of work in general is for you. So I know a lot of people email me in and say, you know, I kind of want to start detailing, but I don't know if it's the right fit for me. I don't know if it's going to work out for me. I don't know if I'm going to like it. This will also be a great lesson for you. So the overall strategy is you want to make a list of 10 to 20 people you know, again, referring back to the last lesson about they already know, like, and trust you of your friends, family, and coworkers. Next is you're going to detail their cars for free or if you want to charge them, of course, that's absolutely fine too. In exchange for a review, which could be on your Facebook page or your Google My Business page. And they have to share your work on all social media platforms that they're on. And that's the key one because this is going to be word of mouth, amplifying your word of mouth uh, and referrals. So uh, you're going to detail the cards for free or charge them. Make sure they leave your review on your Facebook or Google business page and have them share your work on social media. That's the big key. And of course, this is going to be the quality before and after photos. You even want to put your name, your logo if you have one, and your phone number on the photo so they can, you know, everyone that sees that photo, they can see who's, who's the work done by and they can uh, contact you. So you really want to uh, make sure you get the, the last part of them sharing your work on social media. Now, but the benefits of this is you're going to be able to create a problem and system on how you detail. You're going to take great photos for future use. You're going to be able to gain a lot of experience, basically be an expert at the, after the time you're, you're through with all those details. And you're going to figure out a pricing by how long it takes to detail. Uh, and we're going to go all this, we're going to go more in depth in each one of these uh, in the later slides. So to, you're going to create a process and system on how you detail. So basically what that means is you're going to take note, not not, take notes of everything you do. So that's how long it takes you to unload and set up, how long it takes you to detail one section. So perhaps, you know, if you're cleaning the interior, how long it takes you to clean uh, all four door panels, um, uh, all four door panels, or how long it takes you to do a headlight rest one headlight restoration, or how long it takes you to clean all four wheels. You know, you're going to break it down to see how long each step is taking you. And you also be able to develop a plan of attack template. So, you know, your first time ever cleaning an engine, you're really kind of just figuring things out. You have an idea of what to do, but it's not really, you know, suited to your specific skills and situation and, you know, what you're going after. So, you know, after the first detail, after the third detail, after the fifth detail, you'll, you'll start saying, okay, well, I'm starting with the engine in the top right corner and I'm working counterclockwise and I rinse and, you know, you, you'll be able to outline all the steps that way. The next time you have to clean an, uh, an engine or headlight restoration or paint correction or interior cleaning, you already have a strong structure of what to follow instead of trying to wing it every single time. So if you take great photos for future use, you'll be able to show off your work on social media. That's a biggie. You'll be able to create enough content to last you months. So if let's say you have a full-time job or you know, you're just time crunched or whatever it may be, if you take enough photos during these 10 to 20 cars, you'd be able to schedule those photos out on your Instagram or Facebook for the next upcoming months. That way you don't have to worry about uh, you know, staying consistent and on top of social media because you've already had you already did the upfront work to get all those photos to be ready to get scheduled out. So that's what I did because you know i you know it is a bit time consuming to, to take great photos every single time on each detail. So what I did was I just wanted to take a lot of photos with a few cards and then just schedule those out. For the next month or so that way I didn't have to worry about taking photos on every single detail that I did and following that is you'll be able to re repurpose all this content for your website your social media portfolio any email campaigns that you're gonna do you know it, it it's great to repurpose content instead of having to come up with fresh new content every single time you're gonna do something now if you're in the, in the pool of people that don't have an experience or are just starting to get into detailing this is going to give you a lot of experience basically after the 10 20 details that you do, you should basically basically be a, an, an, an expert already in the field. And you know, you don't have to have all the tools that you that you want or need. 
you know, as long as you have the basic essentials, that's going to get you far enough to get you to an almost expert level, assuming that you're actually analyzing what you're doing and taking interest in what you're doing instead of just going through the motion. And this is going to give you the opportunity to figure out what works for you so you can see if, you know, if you have uh, one method that you want to go after and try that out on that car, then on the next car, see if it works the same, if it takes less time, more time, if the real results aren't as good, you would have figured, that, figured all that out uh, during that process. Next is you'll prep yourself for real customer experience. So, you know, getting to the customer's location, greeting them, uh, walking them through the process, you know, although it'll be your friends, family, coworkers, it's still the same concept. So when you actually have real customers that you have to uh, go to or they come to you, the experience won't be completely new and there won't be any surprises. You already have a, a strong concept of what you need to do to have great customer service. Now, if you want to figure out how to price, and this is perfect for you because since you're going to see how long everything takes you, you're going to you know document how long each step of the phase tag takes you, then you'll be able to reflect that off of how much money you actually want to make per hour, so it'll be 15, 20, 25, 30, however much you want to make. You'll be able to see, okay, I take this long to complete this type of detail, and I want to make this type of money, so let me multiply, divide, okay, this is how long it'll take me, and you can quote accordingly. So, when it comes to pricing, this is a big one. That's why I want you to really figure out the template, the plan of attack template that you can come up with. You want to come up with processes on how you do things and how long everything takes you in which all will give you the best price that you need to set for. Now, just a little warning sign is that this is tedious and hard work. It's going to take a lot of time. And maybe, again, going back to the first slide, is that make this fit to your situation. So if you don't have all the time, if you're only doing this on the weekends, yeah, of course, you're probably going to be able to do 10, 20 cars. Maybe you only be able to do five cars. Maybe that's enough. But the point is, it's going to be a lot of work. And hopefully, you'll be able to do as much as you can on each car. So if you could do a full interior cleaning, an engine cleaning, a head restoration, a wash and wax, paint correction, if you do that on each car, especially if you're brand new to this and you're not really sure this is for you, then, you know, try your best to do so. The reason I say 10 to 20 cars is because uh, you want them to share your work on social media. You'll get the same results as far as learning how to detail and stuff if you do five cars, but imagine having 10 to 20 people share high quality photos of your work to their friends and families, and now you have that referral and word of mouth system coming into place, and you have a few customers trickle in. And by the time they do that, you already know, you already have your pricing in place, you already have your uh, systems and processes in place, so it's just an added benefit to that. But again, if you have any questions, if you want to you know, bounce back any ideas for me, send me an email at d2guru at gmail.com and I'll be more than glad to help you out.